Hi, I'm Todd Jabbat and I teach two courses. The first is Advanced English Reading. This course is actually a substitute course for the foreign language test. However, due to the mixed English level ability of students in this class, it is actually more of a methodical textbook reading practical application type course. And students do get a uh, good benefit from this. We do focus on practical reading tasks and activities or roughly the high beginner, maybe low intermediate range. Uh, the second course I teach is called Teaching English Reading, and this is the course for intermediate slash advanced level students uh, with subsequent tasks and activities for those levels. We work on reading and strategy development via some intensive textbook type frameworks, as well as uh, extensive reading. Uh, for example, Literature Circles, which is a book club. Um, we also work on lesson planning, of course, or re uh, reading frameworks in particular, and materials assessment of reading materials. Uh, uh, finally, we finish out the class or complement the class in other ways, uh, particularly, particularly with practical activities and applied uh, theoretical context to those activities. Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Scott Smith. I teach three courses for the department, uh, two of which focus on uh, academic writing, and then there's a third one that focuses on a combination of listening and speaking. Uh, the titles for the academic writing courses are English Education for a Logical Essay and English Composition. Um, they both focus on academic writing in a wide variety of ELT and particularly Korean contexts. Uh, specifically, uh, in the first half of the course, we cover paragraphs, essays, uh, the nine patterns of development, like argumentation, cause and effect, comparison, contrast, etc. And a little bit on research papers, both qualitative and quantitative. Uh, in the second part of the class, we switch and uh, focus on lesson planning, uh, practical tasks and activities for beginning, intermediate, and advanced level learners, a uh, bit on micro-teaching, extensive writing, uh, and then reflection papers affect both halves of the course. Uh, if you're not familiar with reflection papers, uh, they're uh, basically papers to help you recall, uh, critically think about, process, and utilize all of the content throughout the semester. Um, this semester has been a little bit different uh, with ChatGPT and emerging AI technologies. I've been uh, using those both in and outside of the class for support for both learners and teachers. Uh, I understand the concerns and the drawbacks, uh, but frankly, I think the support uh, outweighs those by far. Uh, the third course uh, is titled Practical English. Again, this focuses on listening and speaking uh, in a wide variety of ELT and particularly Korean context. Uh, we do cover course and syllabus design, uh, key principles, tasks and materials, uh, and assessment for all levels. Uh, additionally, we focus on lesson planning, practical uh, tasks and activities, again, micro-teaching, and reflection papers. Uh, there's a strong emphasis also on authentic materials uh, and to a lesser degree pronunciation, grammar, again, making good use of uh, the technology that's available with ChatGPT and the other AI stuff like uh, Google Bard, uh, and as well as multiple intelligences. Well, I think all three classes um, strongly emphasize how theory informs practice, uh, which I think you would really enjoy and benefit from. Uh, and speaking of that, I look forward to seeing you at some point in the near future. Thank you. Hi, my name is James and I'd like to talk about some of the classes that I teach in the Graduate School of Education. The first one is English and American Culture. In this class, we'll be looking at British and American cult and culture in terms of multiculturalism. Uh, why? Because British and American cultures are both multicultural. Why is this our focus? It's our focus because of globalization and the fact that we have increasing cultural contact around the world. A second reason for this focus is because of the way South Korea is changing. South Korea is becoming more multicultural and we'll be making comparisons between America, South Korea, and Britain. The second class that I'll be be talking to you about is called textbooks and teaching methods. In this class, uh, we're going to be focusing on trying to identify best practices. 
and that means we're going to be studying a variety of methods. The other thing that we'll be doing is we'll be looking at our beliefs about language, teaching, and learning. Our beliefs help us to make decisions about how and what to teach. And then, of course, the final thing that we'll be discussing in this course is the implications that best practices have on the materials that we use with our students. I look forward to seeing you in my classes. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Edward Povey, and I'm going to introduce three of the courses I teach at the Graduate School of Education. So the first course is uh, Teaching English Speaking, and in this course we're going to learn about using task-based language teaching for all levels of learners. We're also going to learn about planning objectives for lesson plans, and activities, and frameworks for lesson planning. So this course is very much about the essential teaching skills for teaching. So practical techniques for teaching, things like modeling, scaffolding, giving instructions, asking checking questions, and so on. The next course I'd like to introduce is Teaching English Grammar. And in this course, we're going to cover inductive and deductive approaches to teaching grammar, but we're mainly going to focus on the inductive, student-centered, more kind of communicative ways of teaching grammar. Uh, we're going to learn about meaning, use, and form, which are three different aspects of language. And we're going to focus on teaching grammar creatively with a focus on communication. So uh, this course is kind of trying to challenge the traditional ways of teaching grammar. So we're going to learn about teaching grammar in a more creative and uh, more communicative way. Okay, the final course I'd like to introduce is Emerging Technologies for English Teachers. Uh, this course is very much a kind of exploratory, experimental course. We're going to cover key concepts related to technology and using technology in education. We're going to do some research and also look at research related to this subject. And we're going to learn about practical applications for technologies in the classroom. We're going to cover things like AI and VR and AR, and also blended learning and student response systems. So in this course, you're going to have opportunities to try things like making videos and using VR headsets and learn, learning about using AI in education. So the main focus of this Emerging Technologies course is preparing teachers for the future. Okay, so these are the three courses that I currently teach at Graduate School of Education. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.